So a couple weeks ago, Murder Drones released the final episode to the series, and it certainly was a spectacle. It did a lot of stuff right, and was a total blast to watch from beginning to end. However, at the same time, it had a few glaring issues that, in my opinion, kinda hurt the finale to the show overall. Did these flaws ruin the episode? No, definitely not. Spinning in circle! But it did leave me with some mixed opinion. Now, since I'm so decisive in my opinion regarding it, and because I haven't uploaded a video in a while for whatever reason, seriously, I've been slacking, I decided that today we're gonna be going over all the good and all of the bad of the Murder Drone series finale. Obviously, spoilers ahead, so be warned. Let's start off with the positives. First off, the animation was absolutely top notch. This series already looks beyond amazing to begin with, however, they really went all out with this episode. Easily the best the series has ever had. This also goes for the fight scenes as well. Pretty much the majority of this episode was action, which makes sense since it's a finale. And it did not disappoint. The fight with Uzi N and V against Sin and Jay is by far the best fight in the show hands down. The only fights I'd say that come close to this good are N vs Uzi in Episode 7 and the Knife Dance in Episode 3, and those fights were no slouches. Alright, oh, also the one-on-one -on -one with J and V in this episode was great as well, that one definitely deserves appreciation. Speaking of V, one of my favorite moments of the episode personally was the reveal that she was still alive, which, to be honest, I kind of saw coming. I kind of figured the whole cliffhanger thing in episode 6 was a fluke from the get-go, and she probably wasn't actually dead, and I ended up being right. It still didn't change how hyped this reveal was. I mean, I was still freaking out, let me tell you. Oh my god! No f***ing way, they brought it! I knew it! I knew it was a fake out! You mother lied to me i was right the soundtrack was great as always especially the music backing the final battle i don't know what's weirder the fact that it was nightcore music of all things or the fact that it fits perfectly with all of this regardless it was legendary and hilarious all at the same time one of the best parts about the show to begin with is the comedy and despite this episode being very high stakes they still found a way to remain very consistent with the humor <laughs> God fucked it. They did a really good job at making Sin legitimately horrifying. I mean, she already was in the last episode, but they really cranked it up a few notches. That one scene in the hall where she starts copying Arceus's Pokedex entry, sprouting hundreds of hands, crawling everywhere. Yeah, that seriously creeped me the heck out. And I loved every second of it. Right, also can't forget this infamous clip. Let me in. Let me in. One thing I was definitely happy to see was they didn't try to go for some sort of sad ending with one of the main characters tragically dying or something. I feel like that would have just soured the ending in general, but that's just personally me. But then again, I guarantee you it would have 100% pissed off a lot of people. Then again, to be fair, there was something kind of similar to that that did happen, but we'll get to that in a minute. And lastly for the positives, it's the fact that N and Uzi are finally canon, let's go! I'm sorry, but I will die on this hill, these two are freaking adorable. As you can see, a lot of good stuff all around, but like I said, the finale did have some flaws, so it's time to now go through them with the negatives. Let's get the easy one out of the way first, shall we? It was the runtime. This is probably the most discussed flaw with episode 8 between fans, as it was only 20 minutes long. Now, most episodes are similar in length, however, a lot of people, including me, were really hoping the finale was gonna be a bit on the longer side, maybe like a half hour or so. Because of the shorter runtime, parts of the episode kind of felt rushed at times. Then again, this isn't exactly new for this series. Anyone who watches the show knows that the pacing is kind of whack in general, it doesn't take time to establish certain things and it's constantly moving at mock speed. But the finale being no different is kind of a major issue. A good example as to why is the epilogue at the ending, or well, lack thereof. The time from when Sin dies to the credits rolling is approximately two minutes long. That's it. Everything just wraps up in that short amount of time. Since this is the end of the series, you'd expect the story to not only tie up any loose ends it may have, but also answer any questions that remain, well, unanswered. If anything, it did the opposite. <laughs> there are not only so many questions that go unsolved, but even more that are added onto the pile. 
like, what ended up happening with the planet? Last I checked, it got freaking Sonic Unleashed. What, did it, like, fix itself or something? How did Khan and Nori react to N and Uzi hooking up? I feel like that probably wouldn't have gone over very well. Especially with Nori, considering her history with murder drones. In the credits, we see Jay rebuilding her ship, meaning she's still alive then, right? Is she gonna be a problem for the others? Is she planning revenge? Or is she just trying to get off the planet? Like, this opens up so many questions and possibilities. Then we have that infamous post credit scene with Sin living in Uzi's tail. So, like, is Sin also still technically alive then? Is she gonna possess Uzi again? Does this mean the gang will have to deal with her in the future? Does this mean everyone's actually dead and this is all an illusion? Okay, I, I'm joking. That, that theory's kind of dumb in my opinion. To be fair, though, that whole post credit scene is probably just there as a funny gag and it's not really meant to mean anything. And I might just be overthinking it, but who freaking knows at this point? That's just a couple examples from this particular episode. Plenty of other mysteries are still present from earlier in the series, but we're not gonna go over those since this is just about the finale. I was hoping Jay would finally get some character development or some sort of redemption arc, but no, instead she pretty much just remained a one-dimensional villain who blindly follows orders from her boss till the very end, which kinda sucks. Another character that got the short end of the stick was Dull. There were a lot of people who are not happy with how Dull's character was treated in the end. She gets killed off screen, kinda, in episode 7, and in episode 8, they just had her death be a funny little gag at the end with no real follow-up. She's just dead and that's that. I mean, I guess it's a bit funny, but at the same time, it's not, since she's one of the main characters and was pretty pivotal to the plot. So basically just reducing her to a quick joke at the end kind of feels a bit disrespectful. It kind of feels like they didn't care to give her a proper ending or anything. I mean, when Jay ends up getting more screen time than you, you know it's a problem. Also, quick side note, but how the hell did we never get a doll plushie? I mean, it's literally in the name. And the last thing I want to address is, why did Uzi and Nori not get that much of a reunion? Uzi hasn't seen her mom in years, so you'd expect some sort of heartwarming reunion between the two, but unfortunately not. They don't even have one when everything's resolved, which I guess that kind of ties in with the whole lack of an epilogue thing. <laughs> And yes, I know at the beginning of the episode, there was that whole scene in space with them, but not only is it super brief, but also, it really isn't much of a reunion to begin with. They mostly just discuss ongoing plot things. Like, I would have loved to see what an interaction between the two would have been like. I feel like that would have been a very interesting scene, and probably hilarious at the same time, because the whole her finding out that N and Uzi are dating. <laughs> anyway, despite those flaws, though, my opinion still stands that the final episode was great and definitely worth the wait. I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't. Then again, check out the entire series, it's great. And if you still need convincing, um, I, I don't know, just rewind the video back to the part where I listed the pros, that should do a trick or something. There are probably some really obvious things I missed, whether they be pros or cons, and if I did, please let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear what you guys think about all this. Anyway, with all that being said, that's gonna be it for now. See you guys later, have a great rest of your day.